Yep. Good afternoon, Mayor Joe Yokum and Council President Tim Salters here for a, uh, one of our weekly updates. Uh, we are up to 33 cases in the county. Yep. Um, I think five are in quarantine, maybe one hospitalized. So, yeah, five, uh, five total are active cases. One of those five is hospitalized. Um, and the key thing that we like to emphasize is you got 28 <clears throat> Um, that have been recovered. Um, obviously, we don't like the news of having another case. Uh, we knew this was a possibility as you start to open more things up. Uh, the key thing that we want to emphasize is, you know, make sure that you work on your distance. Uh, these are things that we have to remind ourselves on a daily basis. Uh, wash your hands, um, and if you can't space yourself out in an area, uh, facial coverings are always um, recommended. Uh, the key thing though, too, if you can be outside, outside is probably one of the better places to be, is that fresh air. Uh, one of the things that we know that has been extremely beneficial. So where we're at right now, 33 total cases, um, five active, 28 recovered, and that's where we're at today. Right. And then tonight we've got Border Works. Border Works at five, Council Border six. Works, yes, and um, you are welcome to come to the Council Chamber for these meetings. We, uh, if, you, if you do come, you take your temperature, you sign in, you mm -hmm. need to wear a mask. Uh, we've got a social distance in here, which Oh, that doesn't allow us to have very many people in here right. at all. So uh, it may be easier to watch that on uh, Facebook Live on the Mayor's Facebook page for Border Works. Council meetings at 6. Yep. That is on the Council Facebook page Live as well as the Mayor's. And again, uh, we recommend that you participate through that. Yep. Uh, and if you do come, you'll have your temperature taken and be required to wear a mask. So. And the key thing too is like we have people that monitor those too. So if you've got a question during the meeting, uh, you can ask it on those pages and we'll get that to uh, somebody that'll get the question to us because we do have our public comment section. So we do invite questions to that time uh, where some people aren't putting up live feeds. We're putting up two, yes. <laughs> two yes. individual live feeds. So we'll be here, we'll be ready. Um, I don't think we've had many people come since we've opened up, but we've had a lot of people view the feeds, right. which is very positive and good. So the thing that we want to encourage is just engagement, interaction. Just know that if you want to come here, you're more than welcome to. Uh, just make sure that you have a face covering uh, so you come in and then we've got everything spaced out and you'll see the council will be spaced out as well. Uh, but if you don't want to, you can catch the meeting. It doesn't have to be necessarily at six. If you've got time throughout the week to catch up on it and send us questions, feel free to do that as well. Key thing is we just want to make sure that we're reaching out to as many people as possible so they know what's going on in the city. Right. And then the, probably the big question we're getting right now is uh, about the cancellation of the Fort July Parade. Um, I want to explain that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that is a city-sponsored event. Uh, if we are sponsoring an event, we, we need to try to make sure that uh, the social distancing and everything can be followed. Uh, as anybody's aware of with our Fort July Parade, there are thousands of people that come down for the parade. There is absolutely no way social distancing uh, could probably happen on our parade. Uh, and with that, the city being liable, uh, we need to do our part to make sure that the COVID is not spreading through events like that. So uh, we chose to cancel it, um, even though we will, con we will move forward with the fireworks, that, which will be set off out on Richard Valley Drive. Um, and the key thing too that I always, I try to look at the positive things and everything. We're still gonna be able to provide fireworks. It's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we'll have that out there at uh, Richard Bauer Drive by the high school. There's numerous areas that people can park all throughout the community where there's open space. And, and with the test that we've tried, as long as you're in an open space without trees, and there's a lot of trees in Vincent, right. <laughs> we found out. As long as you're in open space, you're gonna be able to see those. So it's gonna be kind of different this year. We understand that. And we know that there's some frustrations with that, but I kind of want to look at the positive things that are happening in Vincennes. You know, most of our businesses, if not all of our businesses are opening up, you know, retail, restaurants, non-profits. There's a lot of great things that are coming up. You see new sports have started. I think this coming weekend, we're going to start yes. to see Cub League start. I think that's really big for our community to be able to have certain things like that. I, I know that there's some other things that are closed, uh, but to me, the focus on the positives and things that you start to see opening up and the activities that are available and the things that you can do. Um, I've been a little bit frustrated with the playground stuff. That one caught us off guard yeah, last absolutely. time. Um, and hopefully we're gonna get some more news uh, as it gets towards the end of this week because phase four starts Sunday, if I'm correct. But that yeah. could change with a Wednesday announcement or a Friday announcement. We're prepared to absolutely. be able to explain those <laughs> as we move forward. So. Uh, the mayor and I are excited about the things that are happening on the city. Uh, we've seen a lot of great things happening in our businesses. And I, I mean, we're in a really good spot. 
farmer's market out at Greg Park yeah. on Saturday mornings. The food truck, food trucks in Greg Park on Monday evenings. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, and again, the reason those events can happen because they are not city sponsored events. Yeah. And they are, you know, the following the rules of social, social distancing and everything falls on that group. Yeah, and they've got different and guidelines doing, than the city well, would have to follow. Absolutely. And they're doing amazing at it. So, yeah. uh, uh, and, and, and the thing is too, like, you know, those things happening, I think that's very good for us as a city to be able to have those certain things. And people have been very excited about the farmer's market. I know a lot of people were excited about having the food trucks again. And I know we were because yes. that gives us kind of a sense of normalcy again. But the key thing is, obviously, there are certain things we want to see open back up and we want to have open up. And, and the mayor and I will be behind the scenes trying to figure out how can we do those things with the guidelines that are given to us. Because some of these guidelines, they're extremely complicated. And you don't see those until they send them to us later on. They're like, here, Absolutely. here's page after page, follow these. Um, and it does make mm -hmm. things difficult for us. But we're trying our best to make sure that we can get those things and offer those things. Like we said, we expect more guide, guidance this week, and we know that we'll see, you know, the governor will make an announcement, then he'll sign the executive order. The key thing to remember in that, he'll have a press conference on it, and it might differ, so it differ a little from what we see in the executive order. Right. So we'll be working with that as we continue to move forward. But like I said, we're really excited about the things that are happening in the city. Right. A lot of our businesses are doing great work. Our non-for-profits are out there, retail, restaurants, you name it. People are working hard to be able to get our city back on track. And um, I couldn't be more proud and more happy of what's going on. Me too. And again, you know, like you said, all the businesses are doing their part. Uh, the city's trying to do its part. It's up to us as citizens to do our part also. Yeah. Make sure that, that we keep our numbers low. And, um, so. so that kind of is it for today. Um, and if things do change, we'll do our typical uh, Wednesday, um, I mean, our Thursday uh, video, but if there is a change, I think last time we did a Thursday video, the governor signed an executive order later that afternoon and changed things, so we did a Friday one. Always know that we're going to be here getting information to you and explaining what's going on and how that affects the city of Vincennes. Absolutely. Without anything less, less. Keep your distance. Have a good one.